The next few slides will help you in identifying the possibilities of improvement in your own work area. Improvement ideas can come from inside the company or from outside. One of the important sources of improvement ideas is the customer. Make sure you listen to the voice of customer. People who directly deal with the customer may help you in identifying the improvement opportunities. Analysis of internal defects, waste, and reworks can help you in identifying the areas of improvement. If you are new to Six Sigma Improvement Approach, then look for the low-hanging fruits. These are the issues, known to everyone in the organization, but people were just living with them. You can solve these easily, with the help of basic quality tools, and the results would be immediate. That will help you, in setting the base for bigger improvements, using more investment, and sophisticated tools. If the cause of the problem and the solution is known, there is no need to follow Six Sigma steps, just implement the known solution. Six Sigma approach of problem solving takes time and effort. On closing note, Six Sigma improvement projects are supposed to focus on improvement of customer satisfaction, which eventually gives increased market share and revenue growth. As a result of revenue growth and cost reduction, the profits increase. This in fact, leads to the commitment to Six Sigma methodology, and more improvement projects. This again leads to more customer satisfaction, and more profits. We hope you enjoyed this course, and we wish you all the success in your improvement efforts.